Ah, good. Yes, nearly. Lever? No. <laughs> Contact? Yes, yes. Oh, go for elbow lock. Go for elbow lock. <laughs> good girl. This series is about the male dancer, how fit and disciplined he has to be, and the many different types of work he has to do. This second program is about a very important part of his work, partnering, or what we call double work with a female dancer. I want to tell you about the physical work involved and about the emotional relationship between them, and also how in the history of ballet, our role in a partnership has changed from being secondary to the ballerina to being equal with her. Just bend down, straight down. That's it, look forward. At the Royal Ballet School in London, preparation for lifting starts in the first year. But it'll be some years before partners are used. At this stage, the boys all just the learn the basic principles of lifting. Feel that nice round shape, all the way, nice and round. After wooden poles, the boys graduate to metal weights. Good. Nice high elbow action. And it's only after years of this work that they are allowed to try their first partnering with girl students. Okay, easy. And go for elbow lock, Kevin. It's a risky elbow business lock, for both partners. And injuries must not happen. Uh, <laughs> There's too much air between her hip bones and the palm of your hand. Really feel the whole bone. In fact, there's a nice ridge there. It almost like somebody made it specially for this grip. Feel it on the heel of your hand. In a partnership, there must be the physical chemistry and the physical rapport. That only comes with ceaseless work and practice to make double work seem effortless, spontaneous, and emotionally and physically right. Good. Let go of that hand. OK, you're all right, love. Don't worry. Bad partnering can destroy a great dancer's performance. Good partnering can inspire a ballerina to heights she might not otherwise reach. Great partners are treasured by ballerinas. Some dancers like Desmond Kelly of the Sadler's Wells Royal Ballet have earned the respect and affection of every ballerina their partner because of the sense of security they give and because of their dignity and distinction as artists. Desmond Kelly partners Galina Samsua in the Springwaters Padre. The traditional view of the male dancer as partner is of the man as a princely, noble cavalier, supporting the ballerina but somehow keeping in the background. This is the view of the princess we see in the classical ballets of the 19th century. Ballets like Swan Lake and Sleeping Beauty. 
when the ballerina was the most important figure and the male dancer had to keep at a discreet distance. When the time came for a pas de deux, he was there to support and show off the ballerina. Up the back! Here the boys of the Royal Ballet School are learning to support the ballerina as she goes into what we call a fish dive. Good! Fish dives are a very important part of one of the finest examples of 19th century partnering. The grand pas de deux from the last act of Sleeping Beauty. I'm partnering Antoinette Sibley of the Royal Ballet. <laughs> 